10 albino animals that you didn't know existed. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. You may think you've seen the world over, under, around, and through, yet there are still so many wonders that will make your eyes pop. Have you at any point seen a pale-skinned creature face-to-face? -face? They're entirely uncommon. Albino animals are creatures that have white fur and amazingly pale skin. Though uncommon, albino creatures have been spotted ubiquitously from the skies to the oceans. These exceptional animals have halfway or complete loss of pigmentation. Subsequently, their pale skin tone contrasted with different individuals from their species. Despite the fact that the birth of an albino creature is viewed as a holy or propitious occasion in certain societies, research recommends that some of these rare creatures experience issues in nature. They usually have a poor visual perception, which puts them in danger when chasing for food and maintaining a strategic distance from the threat. In some cases, they have difficulty in finding a mate, and their failure to cover themselves makes them helpless against predators. Do you ever think what happens when an animal is born as an albino? What does it mean when an albino turtle can't mingle into a bed of seaweed, or an albino alligator can't hide within the gloomy depths of a marsh? In this video, we are going to show you some unique albino animals that you did not even know existed. Before jumping into the video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Number 10. White Squirrel The white squirrel is a hereditary abnormality because of a mutation in a gene from the basic eastern gray squirrel. It is known as luchism which is a condition marked by decreased pigmentation in animals caused by a recessive allele. In contrast to albinism, it is a decrease in a wide range of skin types, not simply melanin. White squirrels lack red eyes and will, in general, have a dark gray patch on their heads and what is referred to as a dorsal stripe down their backs. These rare squirrels can be found all through North America and Canada. Some significant spots that they can be found include Marionville, Missouri, Brevard, North Carolina, Olney, Illinois, Kenton, Tennessee, Northern Keys, Florida, Charlotte, North Carolina, Exeter, Ontario, Canada, and close by Tallahassee, Florida, Tallahassee Museum of History and Natural Science. They have been reported in different zones along the Gulf Coast also. Number 9. White Alligators Pale-skinned alligators do not have the pigment melanin. They are the offspring of two typical-looking gators that carry a recessive gene for albinism. These pale-skinned crocodiles have ivory-white skin and pinkish eyes. Another kind of white croc is the leuchistic crocodile, which makes some melanin in specific parts of its body. The leuchistic croc typically has blue eyes and patches of colored skin on its body. In the wild, white gators would not live long in light of the fact that they couldn't mix in with their environment they would rapidly be eaten by predators. Even if they succeed to escape predators like birds, raccoons, bobcats, large fish, and other alligators, their rare skin color leaves them susceptible to sunburns. These crocs are incredibly uncommon in the wild, and the vast majority of them are found in zoos. Scientists found that there are just around 100 pale skin crocs on the planet. Number eight, white turtle. White skinned turtles are amazingly uncommon. They currently occur only once in every few hundred thousand turtles. Commonly, ocean turtles won't arrive at maturity, as they become lunch for bigger ocean animals. Just one out of many will reach maturity. Pale-skinned turtles then again have a fundamentally harder time, as they have no camouflage. This little white turtle albi was a battling runt in a gathering of 122 turtles found on Queensland's Sunshine Coast in 2016. Number 7 white buffalo. The white buffalo, or bison, unlike other animals on this list, come from multiple different sources. They may be born albino, leuchistic. They may have a rare genetic condition that causes the buffaloes to be born white, but after two years, they turn brown. Or they may be a beefalo, which is a buffalo crossed with a cow, taking on the white genes from the cow. It is estimated around 50 white buffalo exist in the United States, making them less rare than the white versions of other animals. They've been around for hundreds of years, considered sacred by native people, and visited during religious rituals. The National Buffalo Museum in North Dakota is home to a couple of pale-skinned wild bison. The oldest one, named White Cloud, was born in 1996, 
and has lived among the museum's crowd for a long time. She brought forth 11 calves, including a white buffalo, in 2007, named as Dakota Miracle. As indicated by the National Bison Association, only one out of every 10 million wild bison born are white. Number 6. Albino Snail In 2011, a white-skinned snail was found in New Zealand. It was just the second one at any point recorded, as indicated by the Sydney Morning Herald. While pale-skinned snails might be kept as pets, their darker color companions are the ones individuals like to eat. Like other pale-skinned species, pale-skinned snails are simple prey for birds and different predators. Number 5. Blackbird On the off chance you saw a white-winged bird fly into your nursery, okay, ever surmise that it may be an albino blackbird? One family in England saw one swoop into their nursery, and fortunately they had the option to distinguish and welcome the abnormal flying creature. Steve Hussey from the Devon Wildlife Trust in England told The Mirror, Being unadulterated, white is certainly not an extraordinary survival strategy for a blackbird, especially as a fledgling. At the point when you've recently left the nest, you want to be as quiet as possible to evade the predatory eyes of cats and sparrowhawks. In addition to this, albino animals have poor or little visual perception. I dread that this little chap's life was presumably a short one. Number 4. White Lions White lions are leucistic, which means that they have an unusual gene that affects them to have less melanin and other pigments than non-leucistic animals. White lion, just similar to the tiger, is not an albino. They preserve their blue eyes and facial patterns. They were initially discovered in 1938, but not as well known until the 1970s, when two books were issued about them. There are presently hundreds of white lions in zoos and circuses worldwide. Only 13 are in the wild. Sadly, many white lions are bred in imprisonment to be traded to a brave hunter who could shoot one in a jail cell and then hang their head on their wall. An American in recent times paid $165,000 for a canned lion kill. In 2006, two cubs were born in the Yumbambat National Reserve and two more were born in the Timbavadi Reserve. None of the cubs, comprising the tawny ones, lived due to the killing of the leading male lions of both prides for trophies. Ever since 2008, 11 white lion cubs have been spotted in and nearby the reserves of Timbavati and Umbavat. Number 3. Raccoon In 2015, a pale-skinned raccoon was caught in Valparaiso, Indiana, and brought to the Moraine Ridge Wildlife Center for treatment. Raccoons regularly live just a few years. This was astounding because albino raccoons regularly don't survive well in the wild, as they lack camouflage that safeguards them from predators and they will most likely be unable to mate since they can be dismissed by their species. Another pale-skinned raccoon was caught in Indiana in 2014. Number 2. Today's Subscriber Pick And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. As for now, don't forget to comment and tell us what do you think about this image. Snowflake, a western marsh gorilla, was born in the wild in Equatorial Guinea. In 1966, he was taken to the Barcelona Zoo in Barcelona, Spain, where he lived until his passing from skin disease in 2003. Since his parents were related, an uncle and a niece by the specialist's view, their DNA contained a portion of similar qualities one of which happened to be the uncommon albinism transformation. Both the mutant genes and the inbreeding are uncommon events for western marsh gorillas, and the blend that produced snowflake isn't probably going to happen again at any point in the near future. Western marsh gorillas don't regularly battle with inbreeding. However, as their population diminishes and their natural surroundings are crushed, it's undeniably turning into an issue. Snowflake seems, by all accounts, to be the consequence of that. However, he's carried on with a long and solid life, fathering six youngsters to adulthood and living to the mature age of 40. Western swamp gorillas typically live to around 25. Deforestation and hunting are the major threats to these animals. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Cyclops Shark 
A fishing team got a gloomy shark in mid-2011 off the bank of Baja, California. At the point when they cut the shark open, they found their catch had not exclusively been pregnant, however, had a fairly extraordinary baby. The shark embryo was pale-skinned and just had one enormous eye focused on its face. The adorable little bug eye looks more like an animation character than a genuine shark, particularly when its mouth is held open. When the image was shared on the blog of Pisces Fleet Sport Fishing, it immediately became famous online around the web, and numerous at first speculated the photograph wasn't genuine. In any case, researchers have affirmed that this cyclopean example is genuine and the optical tissue was practical. However, the creature likely wouldn't have survived in nature. That is the end of our list of top 10 albino creatures that you didn't even know existed. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest video updates. We would love to hear your feedback. Thank you for watching it. Thank you.